Again. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Here's what's going to happen. If you go too long, I'm going to disappear into the middle there and start waving my arms, all right? We'll explain why afterwards. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for your last performance of the evening? I came up here, first thing I did, I put the microphone to my chin, it's, it's now super glued, and I put the stand over here. See, what you may not understand is what you are witnessing tonight is our final exam. We have been in stand-up comedy school. You know, I know you all think, all you non-stand-up comedians, you think stand-up comedians are just born or just appear magically on Netflix. But where do they come from? They come from stand-up comedy school. <laughs> and the reason I'm not so happy to be here tonight is because I failed at school. Aww. Yeah. So tonight, I can tell you why as well here. Hold on, I got, I got a prop. This is, this is why I failed. I'll explain this in a moment. Can I, can I get a quick shout out for the improv people? I'm gonna come back to them. So you see, we're in school. And when you think of school, you know, you, what, what do you think of stand-up comedy school? I mean, you think, we probably just go there, we all laugh, and we're all, I mean, who's the class clown? I mean, class clown. Everybody, right? Everybody, we're all the class clown. What do we do? We like sit around and, and, and joke and be merry and laugh at each other. No, no, no. We have homework. We have pop quizzes. We have take home exams. Last time we had to go to the supermarket and observe and then do a one to two minute observation on the voice recorder. So, the analogy I want to make is with comedy school and an insane asylum. Insane asylum. And it's not that comedy school is like an insane asylum. Comedy school is an insane <laughs> asylum. <laughs> yes. So if you think about it, what happens if you're you know bad in school? You go to detention. You go like after hours. You know, life, right? And so. What happens though if you're bad in school? Because I was failing the class. And I thought, what, what am I, what's gonna happen to me when I'm failing the class? And I thought, am I gonna have to go to detention and what's gonna happen there? There, so I had to go to detention because I'll tell you what I did wrong. But this is what I did wrong, I'll tell you in a minute. So I had to go to detention. <laughs> did, did I mention that school's in a dungeon? <laughs> it's a brick building. There's no names on the outside. It's like a concrete bunker. And as in, if that's not bad enough, we meet in the dungeon. We meet underground. And it's also, there's a front that it's like a musical practice place, right? So that's why the walls are so thick and there's this padding on the wall. But it's not soft, like a fun insane asylum. It's hard, but it's like soundproof. So it's not fun like you can bounce off the walls like they do in the insane asylum. No, we bounce off the walls and it hurts. <laughs> So we're down there in the dungeon, and all right, I'll tell you what I did wrong. I didn't know this. The very first day of class, I learned, I learned three things. One, I learned glue, super glue. Have you noticed? It hasn't left, right? The super, I, do, are you taking notes? Are you, am I getting points? I mean, I know I failed the class, but maybe I can do a makeup exam. So glue Mike to chin, put stand on side, right? I've already got like a three in duck standards. And then write things, are you guys taking notes? Write things down and then memorize them and then do your act from what you memorized and wrote down. Can I get another shout out to the improv people? <laughs> Those improvers are coming on at nine. You know what their homework is? Nothing! <laughs> you know what their preparation is? Ha <laughs> ha, let's see what happens later. I don't know, do you? No, that's the whole point. <laughs> I have to study. 
I have to sit there in the supermarket and do a one to two minute routine talking about vegetables or something. And then, and they just say, what are we doing for preparation tomorrow night? They say, preparation, you get it? That's a joke, there's no preparation in improv. <laughs> And I just thought, I just want to do stand-up, you know, I just want to come up here and I just want to be funny and I fail. I fail. Because I wrote it down and then I, that's why I have my prop, because I wrote it down and then I didn't look at it. And then I would, and then just to be good and a good student, I would show that, I, I'd pretend I was reading. And, and then I dropped my book once and it was empty. <sighs> so, I, I just got to close. Because I want to thank my students, because they're probably going on, although if you graduate from an insane asylum, where do you go? <laughs> What's next? What's, like, where do I go? I failed. <laughs> where did they go? I don't, I don't know. What's better or what's worse? <sighs> Oksana, she couldn't be here tonight. She's from Ukraine. She had, she'll pass. She had a skit. It was about a massage chair. Are right, you visualizing that? Massage chair, you know, you sit. Except this massage chair had a happy ending. Got that visualization yet? <laughs> Try to let that out of your mind later. Oh, we had Eric, who was up here earlier. He did like four minutes. He talked about dust. <laughs> so another difference or similarity with an insane asylum is that the insane asylum, like, you don't really want to go there, but you have to. And then not only is the, the comedy school we pay, we pay to go into the dungeon, do homework, get, get, get not laughed at, and then, and, oh, I forgot to tell you about detention. So you have to write on the chalkboard, I am not funny, a thousand times on the chalkboard. And then you have to not laugh. And if you laugh, there's like sensors in the room. If you laugh, it starts over. And if you smile even a little bit, there's emotion sensors and you have to start over. It's torture. Am I t hey, did, did I t there's a sign up in the back if anybody wants to do the stand-up course next semester. <laughs> Who would do that? Who would do that? Oh, oh. You know, we had Fanny here. Fanny is from Marseille. And when she started, I thought she said her name was Funny. Because she's French, she says, oh, my name is Funny. And I said, oh my god, are you serious? You're in stand-up comedy class, and your name is Funny. I mean, you pass. You pass. You know, we had Will. Will is, Will is actually here tonight. His whole routine from the beginning was, hi, this is his first line, right? The first day of class. He's like, hey, my name is Will, but some people, but they call me Bill. But if I say Bill, but if I tell the Dutch that I shortened it from William, they get all confused. I sat next to the guy for eight weeks. I still don't know his name. <laughs> He'll pass. Hey, I just want to shout out to Mirka. Mirka, did you, did you catch that stand-up comedy lie-down tragedy? I mean, she'll pass. <laughs> she'll pass. Uh, and Monte. Monte up here. Pretending she's going to Dutch class. Coming up here and killing us all. You know, we have another person here, David. He hasn't shown up in a few weeks. And so you remember the insane asylum and the dungeon and the silent walls and all the darkness? And then you get Monte up here who comes up and, and she seems very innocent, you know, oh, Lithuania, Silver Spoon. And we're not sure what happened to David. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, there's the, been some app groups formed. <sighs> Emma. I want to thank you for, for hosting us the past eight weeks because I've, I've never been to such a fantastic, insane asylum, even if I failed the class, and even if I'm failing miserably at stand-up right now. Shout out to the improv folks. You guys sticking around until nine? <laughs> <laughs> so, Emma, thank you, thank you, thank you everybody here. Thank you all tonight. You